Hey, are you in a meeting again? Yeah, yeah, I'll be quick. So, I needed to ask for your opinion. I'm starting to fall in love with the fake scenarios I'm creating in my head. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you think I need a therapist? Alright, I have a nervous smile on my face because I'm going to attempt another no editing video. You know what? That could just come so easy to so many YouTubers and not all the time for me so much. I can tend to get really awkward. So editing is just necessary for you. It's all in benefit for you. So let's see what happens. Uh, today's Wednesday. That means another Dollar Tree haul. I'm upstairs in my guest bedroom. And yeah, so that's the background we're going to look at today. Um, so let's just go ahead and dive in before before there's an awkwardness. Okay, first things first, I've got to show you guys these off the bat because I feel like they're definitely new. As soon as I saw them at Dollar Tree, I just instantly felt new to me. Now, you guys know I shop at Dollar Tree all the time, plus I just have not the greatest memory on the planet. Um, so, but I saw these and I said, okay, girl, I've never seen them in this green color. Plus they had them in so many other colors as well that I feel like you don't see that often when it comes to organization bins at Dollar Tree. Plus, can I just point out how huge these are? The one color I did not see was clear. I mean, I guess it's not technically a color, right? But um, I did not see clear bins. I saw blue, red, purple, and green. I imagine there could be other color options. So if you've seen this style bin at your Dollar Tree and I didn't mention a color that you saw, please drop that in the comments so that we all know maybe like what's out there. I decided to pick up three on this one trip, though I'm kind of wondering, do I need to get more? So I am redecorating my office. It's actually coming along pretty quickly. I just got a major piece delivered today. Um, I'm going to put like a dresser and that's going to be where I'm going to have all of my papers. So I used to have a, I still have a desk. I ruined it with polyurethane. I painted this desk white, looked great. Then I added a coat of polyurethane and it turned the damn desk yellow. And um, so there's that. So I did order a new desk and I, but this current desk had a couple of drawers and then I had a filing cabinet. So the new desk that I ordered doesn't have any sort of drawer system. So I knew that I was going to need something for organization. And I'm thinking that these will fit hopefully in the dresser so that I can then organize whatever into here. So you guys, um, if you watch like my vlogs, I showed like my collection for my computer video game. So I have all those boxes. So I'll probably like put them inside of here. I have cords and you know, things for like my cameras and stuff. So that's why I decided to get them. And I was excited because they're in green. So if you've caught the last few of my Dollar Tree hauls, then you've seen me get um, green folders and accordions and filing little systems because that is the color I've just decided to go for, for from an organization standpoint. And the reason why I keep holding this, this up is obviously so that you have something to look at um, instead of me going on and on about this long conversation but i want you guys to see like how huge this is like that's a pretty good size for an organization bin at dollar tree so um i don't know maybe i'll go back and like get three more just kind of depends on how well those are going to fit in my dresser all right let's move on i'm uh, gonna grab at complete random today this is also another one of my random hauls are you guys too bright Sorry, let's tone it down a smidge is that better? I feel like it was like really, really bright, especially with a, with white, it can tend to, um, yeah, be overly bright. This is why I edit. So this is a phone holder and I wanted to show you guys. It's like a little hands. I only found this color, but I know that this brand E circuit is at Dollar Tree, has the Greenbrier information on the back. So for me, I feel confident in saying, this most likely came in at least three other colors, um, but I only found it in the white and you can basically just bend it so that it can hold your phone. 
that's pretty cool, you know, if it's just to like put on your makeup countertop or your makeup vanity desk so that you can maybe watch something while you put on your makeup and it just props your phone up. I definitely needed something like this because I'll bring like my phone into the bathroom where I now do my makeup and I, I have to like put it up against the, the wall so that I can just watch. So this will be easier so that I can tilt the screen how I want to. Um, then I decided to get a stylus pen, also the same brand, that E-Circuit. Uh, I've talked here and there about the cell phone accessories. I'm not a fan of buying anything that would create energy. So, um, so like the chargers and stuff like that kind of stay away unless maybe I start getting wind that they're pretty good. I don't know. Comment down below. Do you buy the chargers at Dollar Tree? How do you feel um, from an iPhone perspective? Because that's the one that I have. I just worry that Apple makes Apple products to work very specifically for their stuff and using outside, um, I don't know. You know, at the end of the day, like I say, you pay for what you get. So anyways, uh, but this is a stylus pen and you can see all the different ways. Plus it has a laser and a little built-in flashlight which I thought was pretty cool, but also, I don't know if that's like random or not, but I mean, it's, it is a stylus. So essentially, you know, if you're doing like some sort of presentation, this could be a cool thing to have in your briefcase kind of deal. But I got this for an app game that I have only downloaded to my phone. And I was just kind of wondering if this would help me to like navigate through the game a little bit better. And I don't know if I'm going to do an overshot of me playing this game. Um, but if I do, then you'll be kind of able to see why. And oh, it's also an actual pen. So you can write, you can write with it as well. So there's that. So I'm going to give that a go. New cleaning products. Or yeah, I was... I have not seen a brush like this with a handle like this at Dollar Tree. So I feel like this is definitely another new um, cleaning brush, which I just showed some in Monday's video, I believe. So I thought this was really cool. And I've been talking about wanting to like do a monthly scrub of my floors without using my steam mop. And I bet this would be the best brush to use because there's more surface here to like cover and brush around. Especially, I'm definitely going to be doing this in the guest bathrooms and the, the bathroom floors uh, because that's just where that's where I wanted to do that like monthly clean. In terms of like the bigger space, like my kitchen, I probably still use the steam mop and the entryway too. All right, let's stick to some cleaning products. I picked up some more Fabuloso and this one says antibacterial. I've never picked this one up before. You guys, I love Fabuloso and even more so confirmed for me because Vanessa loves it too. She has, I think, her like specific preferences on certain Fabulosos. Um, she has like whole videos about it, not on YouTube, but on Instagram and her TikTok account. And her Instagram is linked down below, by the way. So um, this is a multi-purpose cleaner. You can see all the areas that they're using to clean this with. So I bet I could also use this for the floors too. I did get pine sol to use for the floors, but I could also use this. What I love specifically to do with Fabuloso is after I'm done cleaning a bathroom, I will pour a little bit into the toilets, let it sit there for about like five minutes, and it just kind of gets rid of the other cleaning chemical smells and that I used, you know, to clean the bathrooms with. And then I'll flush it and then it just smells nice. So, so there's that. Okay, um, and some air fresheners. So this is by Wizard. I don't even know if I've seen or hauled Wizard air fresheners like this style, but I think it was a couple of Dollar Tree hauls ago, I found a room spray. So I'm just noticing that this Wizard brand keeps kind of popping up at Dollar Tree here and there. Um, but I don't yeah, I don't think it is a Dollar Tree brand. So this one is fresh vanilla and this one is freshly folded linen. I love that. I love when they get really unique with names and I did not spray this in the store because I wanted to do like a first impressions in this video. So let's try the fresh vanilla first. Oh, comes out nice. 
It's one of those weird things about not editing this. I, why am I not smelling anything? <laughs> Straight from here, it, I, fresh vanilla. That's an interesting word because I can actually smell it now. It smells like a clean scent that has like undertones of vanilla. So it's actually really nice. I would urge that if you're not a vanilla person, if you see this in the store, give it a quick spray and see what you think, because you might actually like this. I love vanilla. I think it's very warm and not overbearing. Um, so I've been really drawn to vanilla the last couple of years. All right, now let's try freshly folded linen. I just want to show you guys the photo again. Little wrap towels. So cute. I mean, the packaging is really pretty. There's like sparkly stars and, and all the things. Okay, I gotta get that vanilla out so I can smell this. I'm, I was about to spray this like straight in my face. <sighs> I mean, the spray is amazing, but it's like way over here. <coughs> I just inhaled that. <coughs> okay, straight up smells like fabric softener. Or have you ever been on a walk in your neighborhood and you can smell like somebody doing laundry? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? You just pass by a house and you can just smell that fabric softener. This smells just like it. Honestly, this is a very beautiful scent. Um, odor neutralizer too, by the way. So that's really cool. I would definitely um, use this for areas like a hallway, laundry room, bathroom. I really love this smell and I love the, the vanilla too. I didn't want it to come across that I didn't love the vanilla, but I do love the vanilla too. Okay, so both of those are a thumbs up for me. And I have to say that just the spray of it was really nice. I love buying the air fresheners at, Do at Dollar Tree, like the ones that we always see. But they're, the nozzles can be a hit and miss. Sometimes they come out really nice, and sometimes they like come out like straight liquid and just splatters. So... This came out just super misted and beautiful. Okay, this next product. I saw this and I almost didn't see it. And then when I realized what it was, I could not believe it. I found Barkeeper's Friend at Dollar Tree. What? I have never, I have never seen this stuff. Um, and I got into it when I first started watching Vanessa. It was one of the first products that I remember watching her talk about. The sun dropped behind a cloud, so if the light changed, that's why. But I, it was one of the first products she mentioned, and I remember she mentioned that it would get rid of rust, stain, rust stains from stainless steel. And I was really intrigued because I had some rust stains on my dishwasher and my fridge uh, from when I moved into this house. And I was like, there's no way that that's gonna take off the rust stains. And it did, it did. And obviously I bought my barkeeper's friend, like the, the bigger one from, I think, I think I got it from Walmart, um, but I just found it at Dollar Tree. Like what? And there's so many other ways to use this. Definitely follow Vanessa and she, she tells you like all the stuff. Um, as you can see, it also shows that you can use it on pots and pans to kind of get rid of all of that buildup. And then you can use it on stainless steel, porcelain, ceramic, copper, brass, fiberglass, corian, I don't know if I'm saying that right, chrome, and aluminum. This stuff is like a one-stop shop kind of thing. So letting y'all know, alert, that's there. Okay, the next thing that I got was just a little tube of red paint. I still have some Valentine's Day DIYs that I want to do and put out for you guys. Even though I have been decorating, I've decorated my living room and my kitchen, both in two separate videos. So I'll link those down below so you can see how the house is looking. But uh, some red paint because I want to paint some heart things. Um, okay, not too long ago couple of hauls ago, I showed you guys the candle snuffer. 
And then I went back to another Dollar Tree and I found them in more colors. What? So the one that I showed you guys was like a copper color. And I found gold, silver, and then this stunning matte black, which gives me modern farmhouse vibes like none other. Absolutely like none other. So chic and gorgeous. Can we talk about how this is a dollar? I don't even understand. But I had to get all the colors because I wanted you guys to see it um, in this video. But that black one is just, it's everything. So I absolutely love it. And I don't know why, but I feel like there's going to be like this, this rage and trend from Bridgerton. I don't know if you guys have seen that series on Netflix. Um, but I feel like... I feel like I've seen a lot of women now talking about like corsets and, and getting all into that and, and people loving like the Renaissance style, like pictures and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a lot of that coming into trend with like decorating videos. And when I see these, it just kind of takes me back to a more vintage time I, maybe that's not even like the proper way or respectful way to say it but it just kind of takes me back and makes me think of bridgerton you know i don't know so anyways so there's those okay then i picked up some more wall decals which hello it's been a while i have such a insane collection of these that i've actually shown a the collection of them in a Dollar Tree haul, like at the end of a video um, a couple months ago. But I think it was when I, yeah, I was in this house, right? Um, but here I am adding more. And I actually, I got these, all three of these for my niece because she loves to like take stickers off of things and then puts them onto um, like a journal. And this is just a cute little $1 activity for her. So I picked up the little dinosaurs absolutely think this cute look at the erupting volcano just adorable the the dino bones hatching out of the egg so cute and they they are supposed to go on your wall doors furniture windows lockers and more this would actually be cute too for teachers just throwing that out there you know if you have like your board you could do like a little dinosaur board or something and then you know there's that uh, then we have the alphabets, another great one for teachers, but these are really cute too because they're in little blocks, little squares, so I really like that. And I got these for my niece so that we can do like a little learning activity when she comes over. Oh, the little sailboat is so adorable. Yeah, it looks like they did, this is the alphabets for like vehicles. That's cute. That's really cute. A tram, a unicycle, a wagon. Wow, they really found A to Z. Zeppelin, yacht. Man, a yacht. So anyways, cute for that. And then I found the little ballerinas. I love ballet. It's just, it is the most beautiful, do you call it a sport? It's just the most beautiful artistic thing for me. It just their flexibility and how easy they make it look when it is anything but easy it's it's beyond hard like it's got to be beyond hard and they literally make it look like they're floating and that is so impressive because like we're humans you know we're not we're not perfect and they make it look just absolutely stunning so anyways i saw this and i said yep getting that for my niece so again just little stickers that she can play with the little point shoes i remember growing up in the late 80s and early 90s and wanting like a pair of point shoes just to put like on my headboard i feel like that was the the roomy trend did you guys ever have like point shoes just from a decor perspective um yeah but i didn't i never had that i was in ballet but I was really young and I never advanced to point shoes. Um, I ended up being into like soccer and track and stuff after that. But, and then here are these girls on the back. I love all the positions too. Like they're all each 
in a different position, which I think is really cute. You've got pink stars and bows, all the cute things. So I can't wait for her to come back over so she can play with those. And okay, then I found some cross stitch kits. I've been seeing a lot of like stitching things from Dollar Tree. This one says free hugs and it gives you the entire kit so that you can actually cross stitch this pattern. We have this one with the heart. I feel like this is a really trendy item. You've kind of like seen it from a tattoo style perspective on t-shirts and stuff with the heart and the wings. So there's that. And then this one has peace. I might have another one in another bag, but there were definitely a couple more at Dollar Tree that I saw, but I didn't pick those up yet. Yeah, here's another one. Um, my favorite one, which is the butterfly. So, so pretty. The next items I actually pick up for my daughter and we just kind of keep on hand just in case she has something where, you know, she's going to do some sort of, I don't know. There have been times where she's wanted to like, you know, do a dye on her hair, just like temporary, maybe for like 4th of July kind of thing like that style. And I found these, we've got teal turquoise and that's what it is. It's just like a temporary, um, semi-permanent hair color uh, for bleach light blonde or highlighted lasts 10 to 15 washes and it contains no ammonia and no peroxide so that sounds good right then we have this color which is blush looks more like a fuchsia to me um, and then we have violet yeah so I've got those. I'm going to put, the, put those aside for her. I picked up another one of these little sandwich containers for my niece, but I don't get them for food. I get them because she loves to put things into other things. This girl loves that. She loves little containers and we have a bunch of like little toys and things that fit into these and she just has the best time of her life. I'm telling you, I, all I do is get this girl Dollar Tree toys and every time she comes over, she plays with all the Dollar Tree stuff. So I just thought this little container was cute for that. We have several of them, by the way, um, but they're from Dollar Tree, but they're in the next room. Okay, let's see. That bag is empty. That bag is empty. Oh yes, I found some more cleaning or, you know, I wouldn't call it cleaning, but just home stuff. These are, what are they calling them? Air fresheners? I think they're the kind that just sits, yeah. Just to show you on the back of one. It would just kind of sit on a tabletop entryway or shelf or something like that. And then you peel the back and then there you go. And these were the two scents that I found um, this. Sure Scents is a brand um, under the Dollar Tree umbrella. So you're gonna see a lot of different style products with this like gray label there. I mean, I've hauled a ton of stuff in the past. These are new to me. I've never seen them do an air freshener in this like format. So pretty cool. But the Hawaiian and the fresh linen is a scent that they have had for years for like the other formats. So just putting that out there. And they're actually really good. The linen and the Hawaiian is really good. So I got those. Okay. Oh. Next is another cross stitch and I wanted to get this because in the last video or one of the last few videos I showed you guys the cross stitch and I noticed that the alphabet was cut and that video is like oh this is like all you get well it turns out that they are selling the cross stitch and the alphabets in two different packs I guess 12 on one and then the rest of 12 al um, alphabet letters on the other so we get M through Z on this second pack. So that's really cool because then you get the full alphabet to maybe like create something for each grandkid or kids or you know whatever it may be. So there's that. All right. Um, next up is a piece of uh, St. Patrick's Day decor and it says a truck look wait a truckload of luck. This is the first time alert. That Dollar Tree has ever incorporated, I think, the truck thing into St. Patrick's Day decor. I don't think they did anything. 
I'm trying to remember. They might have done like the the tinsel shape of the truck. You know what I'm talking about? But I don't even know if they did that. Comment down below, let me know. Did they do anything truck related last year? I feel like they didn't, but this is the first time I've seen this piece. So that is really adorable. I love all the clovers kind of like flying around in the back. So I love those. And then these items are a repeat. They definitely have been selling these last year, probably the year before 2019. I'm not sure if they started in 2018 or not, or maybe even earlier, but you can see I got four packets of these little carrots. These are just great for Easter and I will be decorating for Easter. I already bought some of my pillow covers for that off of Amazon. I can't wait for you guys to see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now, like the, the color combos, it's gonna be orange, green, and I'm gonna do buffalo check. I'm gonna do buffalo check in the downstairs. My leg's falling asleep. Pita? So those are gonna be the colors that I'm gonna be doing downstairs. I'm gonna be really excited to use orange, so it's not a color I use very often, other than like during Halloween um, and fall. For pumpkins too so these are just gonna be great you guys for so many things I think of banners I think of um, maybe gluing them like around a vase or something like that you know in a gift basket and a care package as like the decor on the inside um, and especially for a tear tray I think these are just the absolute perfect size to do that you could put these in a wreath um, just so many beautiful things with these cute little carrots. Like, are you kidding me? These are probably one of the best Easter decors that Dollar Tree sells. And the final item for this haul, I'm the most excited about these, even though, again, they've been around for a while, and it is the LED lights. So I got them in silver because I wanted the, the... The wire to not like kind of stand out they have the wires and i think a copper color and things like that but i specifically searched for silver so i got four of these and i decided i wanted these because for my library i want there to be a lot of like twinkle lights it's one of the things that i knew when i was thinking about this space and i was thinking about what do i want my experience to be in here like when i'm reading and and I wanted, you know, I imagine like the lights kind of being off, but having other lights because obviously not good to read in the complete dark. Um, and just having like so many like twinkle lights and just kind of creating that, that ambiance as if I'm reading under the stars and just kind of like being outside. So I'm going to be adding these to like shelves and I'll probably go back and get more. So... I got those for my books. So just kind of imagine like a shelf with all my books and then me having like these kind of wrapped, weaving through the books in a way. So that's it. And that's the end of this haul. I think I made it. I don't think I have any editing to do other than I'm having to drop different clips in because the phone rang and um, yeah, so anyways. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.